Today, I'm going to replace a leaky kitchen sink sprayer. I haven't had any problems with this until recently where I noticed a bunch of water under the sink. I believe the water is coming from the base and dripping into the opening through the countertop. It's an easy job to do, and my replacement part is this universal sprayer head from Danco. I got the brushed nickel finish, and I think it comes in chrome and black as well. But I'll list this in the description so it's easy for you to find. Before starting, turn off the water valves to the faucet inside the cabinet. Then use something to cover the drain to prevent parts from falling in. Okay, with this sprayer, I need to separate it from the collar. It should just twist off, but if it's stuck, you might need a wrench to help loosen it. And once it's off, watch out for any residual water inside. And now, this is probably the toughest part. There's a little retaining clip that needs to come out. I had to use one screwdriver to hold it in place, and then another one to push it out. And you might want to aim this into a towel in the sink because the clip might go flying. And I'm telling you this because I almost lost mine. With the clip out, the collar can be pulled off. And at this point, I need to let you know that I ran into an issue with the Danko sprayer, but I'll show you my workaround shortly. With the new part, unscrew the bottom collar. And be sure to keep track of the retaining clip found inside. This is where I ran into my issue. When I tried to put the Danko collar on, it wouldn't fit. No matter how hard I pushed, it wouldn't go over the brass fitting on the water tube. That's when I saw the little fins inside the collar that made the inside diameter too small. I'm not exactly sure why they designed it this way since it's supposed to be universal. So I had to go back to the old collar to see if it will work with the Danko sprayer. You might not have to do this, but I reinstalled the original collar because there's nothing else I can do at this time. If this was the new collar, I'd be putting on the new retaining clip here. I'm just hoping this still works. On the right is my old sprayer, and it wasn't until now that I realized that the leak was actually coming from the trigger. So that reassured me that there wasn't a problem with the old collar. The real test is to see if this fits. And luckily, the screw threads matched up and I was able to attach the new handle. Just hand tightening the sprayer is good enough. There's no need to use a wrench here. Now that it's on, it's time to open the water valves to the faucet. After doing several tests and watching under my sink for a while, I was confident that the sprayer wasn't leaking anymore, so my problem is fixed. Hopefully you were able to use all the new parts, but for me, I had to mix the new with the old. I hope you can see that replacing a leaky kitchen sink sprayer is an easy job anyone can do. And a final note, if you were able to use all the new parts, this is how the Danko retaining ring would slip on to hold the collar onto the tube. I actually like this larger clip because it's not as easy to lose. If this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all my DIY videos.